What is happening everyone? Welcome to another video on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. You can see we have the Mac in front of us. The, the Google Chrome is up and running. You can see we have it right there. And the topic for today is how do you clear cache on Google Chrome? Now, it's actually very simple to do. You just need to be inside of the Google Chrome uh, app. You can see all the windows right here. And we basically want to get inside of the settings. It's not a part of the settings of iOS. It's not the system settings. We need to go inside of the Google Chrome settings. And this can be accessed in two different ways. You can either click on the Google Chrome button right here in the upper left corner and click on settings right there. Or you can click on the three dots right next to your name. You can see it right there. And this shows up another menu with similar options, but you basically want to get to the uh, settings as well. But both options open up the very same option. Okay, once you get inside of the settings here, what you need to click on is privacy and security. It's right here on the left side. Click on that. You can take the privacy guide. It's going to show you all the things which apply to you. You can check your web browser for potentially bad extensions and other things which are going to harm you so go ahead and do that but right now under the privacy and security we have the first option to clear browsing data so when you click on that you can choose what's going to be cleared guys i want you to use your devices the best possible way and that's why I created this free education platform where you can find, as of right now, there's the video editing course, all apps explain where you can find full guides for many different apps. We're constantly adding more to the list. It's free to access. Link is down below. So you have the basic as well as advanced section. In the basic, you have the browsing history, cookies, and cached images and files. So you can, for example, decide that all the time, since all the time you have been using Google Chrome. But of course, there are other time frames you can choose for last four months, seven days, 24 hours, or what last hour. You can decide, let, let's say, for, from the last hour, I disable browsing history, I want to keep it. I disable cookies, I don't want to reset it. But let's say I want to clear cached images and files. Within the last hour, uh, the cached images have taken up 50 megabytes. It's not much, but it's something that I perhaps want to clear. You can see some sites may load more slowly based on that because cache is, of course, going to be removed. So in this case, I'm going to clear data. That's about it. Now, when I come back, you can see that within the last hour, there's only one megabytes worth of data. But of course, if I switch to seven days or all time even you can see that there is much more stuff so 250 to 52 megabytes worth of storage of cached data is going to be removed when i click on clear data but you can also click on advanced which shows you the same stuff plus more you can see cookies download history browsing history autofill password all the things which don't have anything to do with the clearing cache on your mac in terms of Google Chrome. So you can, you are good with just a basic section here. But yeah, if you want to go for more, click on advanced. So that's basically how you can do it. However, to be 100% sure that you don't have any other things in here or don't have any other cached files, I personally like to use one app called DZ Disk. Uh, this is the app which I'm mentioning right now. It's actually a paid app. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just really enjoy using it. It costs me like 10 bucks. And inside of here, I can easily just scan my device and download or like clear all the cached files basically from any app that I use. Like it's a very simple to use interface. As I said, I don't gain anything if you purchase it or not. So it's up to you. But you can see, for example, the apps right here. You can see all the stuff. For example, the desktop, you can find some cached files in here so for example you can see stuff yeah you can you can click on multiple different options and just get inside and browse the sections more and more you can see what exactly is going on you can download some or like clear high fi files which take up a lot of storage so yeah it's up to you to browse it but yeah i'm just want to mention it because i use it personally you don't have to download it you can just clear it through the google chrome but that's what i like to use so that's why i'm mentioning to you but i'm also going to end the video right now that's going to be a wrap up for today hope you found it enjoyable and useful if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up but definitely subscribe down below to the fox tech so you never miss future videos like this one thanks all for watching see you guys later